Hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, we are officially gonna be doing my brand new office tour. And I'm looking at the entire room from where I'm standing, and I think it's starting to look really good. Like, I've been in here for about a month or two, so I've kind of figured out what works and what doesn't, and I think I'm getting pretty comfortable. Because you know when you move into somewhere new, and you're kind of like, I don't know if I like this, but I like this more, and you kind of get more comfortable with some things, and then you get rid of others? That's kind of what I've been doing for like the last two months. So I think at this point, I really am enjoying the room, and I guess let's get into the tour, and let's get started. And now I guess the first thing to do is just kind of do a sweep of the room. So if you guys want to check it out, here is everything inside. And I seriously am really am enjoying how this place looks. And now over here on the left, this is where I have a lot of just my Funko Pops. This is where I've got my ad icons as well as a couple Disney ones down there. This, that shelf right there, you guys can probably tell these are a lot of the newer ones. It's kind of just mishmash. I don't really know what to put there. Then below that, we've got some more Disney. And no, I'm not going to be going into detail about every single one of these figures because that's what our full collection video is going to be for this year. But if you guys want to check it out this is kind of what it's looking like behind the well I guess where I film all the time and now this is kind of funny I don't know if you guys have ever seen what it looks like from behind where I usually film and this is it I've got two Godox lights on the side and then I've got my tripod in the middle and you guys would probably sit like right about here it's pretty much what it looks like yeah so it's almost like with today's video we are breaking the fourth wall and this is what it would look like where I'm sitting and I think it is pretty funny that we're doing that especially because you guys can probably only see from like maybe there to there it's not very much of the room and now it would be too bright if I had the lights on, but this is what it looks like when I'm filming. So I'm normally staring at you guys on the tripod here, and then just a bunch of the Funko Pops in the background. Oh, and of course, that door over there. Yeesh. And now let's come over from the table and go to this side, which is also right next to the door. And something really neat about this area is that I can turn off the lights whenever I want. So if you guys want to check it out, it's not the entire room. It's literally just the ones that are lighting up these few shelves. And I think that's great if I want to make it a little bit brighter or a little bit darker in here. And also, it really does look nice illuminating all of these Funko Pops with those two pot lights right there. And then this is where I put most of my Marvel figures as well as DC and then kind of just random over on this side. Oh, and then if you guys are wondering what's going on with this shelf over here, this is kind of just where I'm storing stuff at the moment so we've got some Pez some sodas and this is what it's gonna look like eventually on the entire shelf I want to do a giant soda display and I think it's gonna be something similar to this it's just not gonna be those exact shelves because it's a little bit too wide to put two of them next to each other like literally if I were to push this shelf all the way over to the side it would be like the two like legs are just overlapping with each other so I need to find some new ones and if you guys have any recommendations please let me know in the comment section below I was thinking of maybe doing those kind of like smaller spice racks in my might look okay. And then above that, you guys can see we've got some random figures and then just a couple more random figures at the top there, as well as my Kenner ones that we got the other day at the flea market. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention these ones up here. This is my signed collection. Now, I know you can't see all of them from here, and there is a bit of a glare on them from that top light, but yeah, this is where I house, I believe, all of them. I don't think there's any other ones in the room. Well, actually, my Kevin Smith one. I don't know where that one went. Here it is right here, and I'm debating on this one. Do I put this into my ad icon collection, or do I put it in the signed one? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, Anyways, like I said, this is where I put most of my signed figures, and I think my favorite one has to be this one here, the Day of the Dead Fluffy, just because I really do love that pink with the really bright figure on the back. Oh, and also, if you're wondering what's up with this table here, it's kind of just a random one that my dad put here. You guys might remember it from the old office. This used to have my TV on it with the Nintendo underneath, but then we didn't have a TV in this room, so I thought, why don't we just put some figures on top of here, and it kind of looks okay. If you guys have any ideas with this one, please let me know, because I do like having the bigger kind of like moments underneath, because this one here is a lesson with the force and then it's got Yoda in it like this is a really nice one to have out of the box so that's why we did this and then I've also got a couple like random big figures in the front here and if you guys don't know one of these is for my mom and then this one is mine she just hasn't grabbed it from me yet but yeah I do really enjoy the 18 inch figures on the table here I think they look pretty nice I didn't talk about the 10 inches so if you guys want to check these ones out there they are right there and we kind of have them scattered around the room just because they are too big to put all in one spot actually something that I did have planned was that I wanted to make this 
entire wall here 10 inches, but then I realized I had too many Funko Pops to do that. Because if you guys don't know, in the room we've got about 3,000, and I think here this is like, I want to say 600? Just around there. I had to add these up because each shelf is 150 if it's full, and then this one, I mean, it's a little bit less, but then we've got some figures up there, so it's about 600. And then really quick, I thought I would show off this section of them as well because there are some of my favorite 10 inches here, especially the ad icon ones with Count Chocula. We also have Frankenberry, and then above that, we've got the Coca-Cola Polar Bear and Big Boy way at the top here. And also kind of funny, if this one wasn't here, the entire thing would topple because it's actually holding it onto the roof, so this thing is a little bit sketchy, but it's okay for now. And above these shelves, there was enough room to display my 10 inch figures. So we've got most of them up here. And then the rest of them are kind of, well, like you guys saw earlier, falling around the room. I mean, they're not falling. Let's, let's be honest. None of them have fallen yet. Um, but they do, they do kind of stack a little precarious, but they've been okay so far. And also, I do want to show you guys something kind of interesting with this room. We have track lighting up here, which is really nice. But the problem is, is that we got the wrong color light bulb. So when you turn it on, it's uh, it's a yellow color. It's not horrible. Actually, it looks pretty good on camera, but compared to the rest of the lighting, you guys can see the difference. It, it, it's not horrible, but uh, in person, it does look a little bit worse. And if you guys want to check it out with the lights on there, it is right there. Like, it actually does look really nice. And then with the lights off, let me show you that as well, if you guys want to see that. So there it is right there with the lights off, and you guys can see it does look a little bit nicer, and that's why I want to have the same kind of, like, it's still off-white by a little bit, but it's not like this. This kind of reminds Reminds me of like, I don't know, my grandpa's house, something like that. And I'm not saying that this lighting is bad, it's just not what I have for the rest of the room. So I'm trying to make it all the same, and that's why I don't really turn this light on too often, but it does really illuminate the figures pretty well. Oh, and then also I did want to show you guys up here, this is where I've got a lot of my six inch ones, because it's kind of funny, they fit exactly above the shelves. And I also have the Director Freddy up there as well. I don't really know why, but I do like them in that spot. And then you guys can see we have all of the 10 inch ones going around the room. And then we've got some other ones over here as well like my art series Star Wars set just because they don't fit very well on these shelves in the hard stacks. And then over here guys we do have more 6 inches and then some more 10 inch ones at the top here and these are some of my favorites especially that golden Indiana Jones and that Stormtrooper. Oh and also funny story about the Chucky I actually hit a lady with my car for this thing. And now that we've talked about this side of the room let's flip it 180 and move on to this stuff over here because there is a lot more that we have to cover still. And let's do this next which is actually my Pac-Man machine that I got for Christmas maybe like a year or two ago and this is actually plugged in. I know it looks like a weird spot but there is a cord that goes from behind here. You guys probably won't be able to see it. It's way at the bottom there. You can kind of see it. It goes behind the shelf and then in between these two here. And This one is just far enough over that I can plug it into the plug down at the bottom like right around there and this thing does work and if you guys want to check it out here it is right here. It takes a second to warm up but uh, it, it definitely works. Wait. There we go. And I don't know if I ever showed it in a video, but my dad and I did have to put this entire thing together because this is made by Arcade 1UP and they come in a pretty thin box and then you build your own arcade machine. So this is something pretty neat that we've got here in the office. And I do want to get a riser for it eventually, which raises it up maybe about a foot or a foot and a half. And they are pretty neat. The problem is, is that all of the Pac-Man ones are sold out pretty much everywhere. And then right next to the Pac-Man machine, we have this chair. And this is actually one that used to be in the old office. And I put it here because I really only had the couch if I didn't have this. This. So for now, it's here. I might get a new chair just because it is kind of big and it's also covering up some of my favorite figures, which are the Disney as well as the Icon collection. And if you guys want to check out all of these figures, here they are right here. And I like that I do have room for some more of these ones. So like Disney, I've got this one. I actually just put them all in the front there so it's a bit easier to look at them, but there is a lot of room behind those figures. And then down here, I've got maybe about, I want to say 15 more spots, maybe something like that for the Icon. So we do have room for more of that. What just happened? That's better. And what I was trying to get at here is we do have room for more of them if I need it. And to the right of what we just talked about, it is pretty much just more figures on the wall. Let me see if I can go through this here. So we've got rocks, Star Wars, we've got some Hanna-Barbera up top there, then this entire shelf is Star Wars, then we've got the Simpsons, South Park, and then Rick and Morty. Oh, and also directors up at the top there. Oh, and also, because I don't have many places to point it out, I wanted to show you guys today, I actually color coordinated my Star Wars Funko Pop. So if you notice at the bottom there, it's all gold ones, then above that it's Mandalorian, then it's the Gaming Greats, then up here we have just like some... 
2019 where they were doing them all in the red as well as white boxes. Then above that, we've got the blue boxes with the yellow logo. And then above that, we've got black and red boxes. And then, oh right, these are the concept series figures. And if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about with the yellow logo, they actually did it with a bunch of different logos. And I have a couple different examples over here. Like this one, it's got the blue as well as yellow logo. And then this one here is just the plain white one. And I'm not exactly sure why they changed it up so many times. So I figured I would just do it with one specific logo in the front there. And I think it looks pretty good. Then over on the couch here, we're keeping it simple just because I do have to sit on this couch. But I have a bunch of plush over here because these are some of the things that we review on the second as well as main channel. And so we've got some of the Boo Hollow plush as well as the entire Jack Sucks at Life plush collection. And I've got them here just because I did just review them recently on the second channel. Oh, and actually, if you look closely, we do have a Freddy Funko plush as well as a Spider-Man one hiding in the back here. In front of the couch, here's what I've got on the table, which does change a lot. But for right now, this is what we're working with. We've got a couple uh, cameras as well as mini tripods. Well, I guess one camera and a tripod. I've got a bunch of pens because I did just get these in a video a little while ago. I have some markers and then I've got a K-Zone magazine here. I know, kind of random, but it's actually not so random. Let me see if I can find it. I showed this off a while ago in a video now. I just don't remember which page it is. Here it is right here, guys. If you don't know, K-Zone, which is an Australian magazine, actually put them in it. Or, I mean, they actually put me in it. That's what I meant. And I did a whole video about this a while back, but if you guys want to check it out here, it is right here in seriously K-Zone. I don't know if you're watching, but thank you so much again for doing this. And I just leave it on the table here because I think it's kind of funny for people to just pick it up and then find a full page about me. And Grandpa, if you're watching, I don't know if you want me to mention this, but he did cry when he saw the page. He cries at a lot of things, but I thought this one was kind of funny. Oh, and also I like to keep my hot cash on the table here just because it's easier to remember. And actually, I think this one just started recently. Where is it? Yeah, just a few days ago. And I feel like I've skipped over the thing that everybody wants to see the most on the table. This here is the Funko Pop, I think Deluxe or Ride. I'm not exactly sure what they're classifying it as, but this is Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon. And if you guys have never seen this figure before, this is a massive one. And it was also exclusive to Amazon. And if you guys want to check this out, this really is one of the most detailed figures I think I've got in my collection. And because of how nice it is, I like to keep it on the table here because I think it's just a cool thing to have out, especially because it looks way better out of the box than it does in the box. Also, out of the entire room, this spot is the one that bugs me the most, just because it is so blank, and I do actually have some stuff coming from Vaulted Vinyl. I believe they're sending over three of their brand new Display Vault Airs for me to check out, so I might put those here. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and then next to the couch over here, I always like to keep my Turbo Man strapped just in case, so if you guys want to check it out, here it is right here, the 13 and a half inch Turbo Man that just came out this year, and also it's not Christmas yet, but it's pretty close, so that's why we've got it out right in the front here. And I know I showed it off in my Walmart hunt just the other day, but if you guys want to check out the back of the box, there it is right there, and this is from the movie Jingle All the Way, in case you guys are wondering. Actually, it says it right there, and this is probably one of my favorite things I've picked up so far for the Christmas season, especially because it is a complete replica from the movie. And now, everybody, the last thing that I'm about to show you here is probably some of the most important things that I've collected over the years, and I, I think you guys will understand why in a second. Let me just show you. And now, here it is right here, and I know that the Pikachu's here. That one doesn't really count with this. What I'm talking about is the play button, as well as the U2s, and my first ever Funko Pop. And when I say my first ever, this really is the first figure I ever got. This is for my brother back in like 2014. He gifted it to me for my birthday and I've kept it ever since. Even though I don't have the box, I still do have it in the collection. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would know it's mine because this one here for some reason has a really light hand when the other side is like the normal skin tone color. I don't know what happened with this one, but that does prove that this is my original Sheldon Cooper. And then of course everybody, we do have the U2s here as well, which is one of my favorite collectibles in the collection, especially because it is me, of course. And if you guys want to check out the back of the figure, there it is right there with a couple of my U2s in the backpack. We've got the Doge, Harambe, and Do You Fart. And then also on the front side there, you guys can see that I'm holding this exact figure. And then I haven't shown it off in a while, but if you guys want to check out the box, there is the front right there. Then also on the back, you can see that this is actually my YouTube banner. And then when I take the sleeve off, yeah, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> and then when you take the sleeve off, you can see the entire figure. So on the side here, it says, thanks for watching with the click. And then on the back here, it's got Noah and I, and it says, hi guys, Top Hops here. Today we're going to be taking a look at my very own U2s. And then on this side over here, it's got all of the packages that we're always opening up. And then me on the side there as well. And I think just overall, this is a really, really well done figure. And I'm so glad that I was able to design pretty much everything on this. And you too, thanks again for making this. And then everybody, the last thing that I wanted to show off was the 100,000 subscriber play button. And it's actually kind of crazy because we got this back in like 2018, 2019. And now we're all the way up to 330,000 subscribers.
Oh, and then of course we do have some other figures underneath here as well, like the first ever 10-inch Funko Pop, as well as the Burrow with Molly Weasley, and then just a couple other random figures that I do really enjoy, some bigger ones as well, and then another super awkward set of 10-inch ones here, and you guys can see, yeah, these ones are just about to fall, but they've been okay so far. Now, I am standing directly in the center of the room, so I guess let's just do one 360 so that way you guys can see everything here because I feel like it's kind of hard to get perspective on camera. So if you guys want to check it out, here it is. And I feel like this would be a really cool thing to see in like a 360 degree camera, but I don't have one of those. So this is how we're doing it. Our kind of like makeshift 360 degree camera. But yeah, if you guys want to check it out, there it is right there. And well anyways guys, that is my brand new office tour and I know that this took a little while but I did want to settle in before I gave you the tour just so that way it was kind of exactly how I wanted it and how it was probably gonna stay for a long time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and if you guys want to see anything else that was in this office maybe a little bit closer up, please let me know in the comment section below because we could probably do a video on it in the future, especially because we do have a lot of figures that I haven't talked about in a long time. And just as an example, these Sesame Street Pops. Like when's the last time I put these guys into a video? But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, and actually, how could I forget? We have the Batman perched up in the corner here. Sorry about that, Batman. Dripping like a school. with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey, let my